We have procured churros, really, really big churros. This makes me very happy. We're gonna eat these churros. That was stealthy. Yeah. Tastes best when it's the victory of a stealth mission. Mm. Fair. Totally fair. How's your churro? We haven't eaten it yet. Oh, I don't want to. Well, actually, I'm returning the camera, so I don't care. <laughs> I'm doing things. I'm leaving from both ways. That's my efficient churro eating. Now, this is the correct way, the original way churro. that the churro craters, I'm going to take a piece here to show you. They used to call it churro on the cob, and you used to eat it like ridge by ridge. Ah. So, like. Oh, is that. Is like that you would go all the way along. Yeah. And then when you're done, you go. Did it make like the typewriter noise in cartoons? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, huh. And this way, eating one full churro took about six and a half hours. And that's how you stretch out your meals. Cool. There's a little fun we'll fact. Learn a little here. history. A little churro 101. That's cool. Yeah, Rod Sterling would go to become a permanent resident of the Twilight Zone. They cut yeah. that out. Ah, okay. So it's just edited. Right, because shows were shorter back then. Yeah, yeah. So they had to cut, right. cut out a little bit. Okay. Good facts you're telling us. Yeah, so we're going to go on that. It's a bit different from Disney World. It doesn't have randomized drops. It also doesn't have the fifth dimension. Um, so there's no like moving between shafts, so that'll be interesting to see. And ooh, the Golden Vine Winery, fancy. Bugs Land down there. Ooh, it's getting hot. It's getting pretty hot, Rob. It's getting pretty hot. Yeah, it is summer. Oh look, we're back by Cars Land. Great, great area. Loved it. Really, really cool. But we're on a mission. Keith's on a mission. He's walking way ahead of us. We lied. We're not going on Tower Tower yet. We decided to get fast passes and explore a little more. That's what we're doing. We're exploring. Um, then we gotta get some pretzel cones. Ooh, cast members doing something. Doing a thing. Oh, there's Sully! Sully's hanging out over here. 
being great. I want to get one I can take. What? A little more Sully. Cool. Where are we going on it? Who knows? What are you thinking? Just make it up right now. What do you think? This is a well, world's first freestanding coaster. Okay. And the way it works is it's a square platform. It's about three feet by three feet. Uh -huh. Everyone stands on that bar is up to like the waist uh -huh. and you have to hold on to. Ooh, that's terrifying. And it is through the factory with all the doors and Monsters Inc. And you have, but you have to hold on really. And there's two inversions, so you have to be like really. It's got to be upper body strength. Uh, and, and it was Walt Disney's favorite attraction here yeah. in California yeah. Adventure. Ah. Uh. I see. <laughs> the story so, behind it was essentially what happened was when they were moving from one studio to the other, they had to move all the doors with them. And uh -huh. so they put all the doors in the back of the truck. Right. But they didn't have any way to tie them down. Right. And so what they needed was somebody back there to hold them up. I see. And the thing is, the freeways were so sort of poorly designed back then that uh -huh. it was just like a as Walt put it when he was back there, a roller coaster ride, mm. and he had to hold on to them. And so that's what was then So do they created. do do they do like a muscle test before you get on? Nope. Like do they have to nope. test nope. your strength? Nope. No. It's just, it's so honor system. So what happens if you aren't strong enough? I mean, you're just down there for, for uh, forever. It, think of it this way, it creates padding for everybody else. It's just like you become part of the ride. Gross. <laughs> We are currently in the Sorcerer's Workshop, which is beautiful. Um, I've been like super admiring all of the walls and stuff. Beneath the sea of future hopes, to take to with resounding beard, and if you fail, she will rejoice and take from you your own true voice. That was Ursula. That's really cool. These are just beautiful. Um, I just walked in here and was just so amazed by the decor. It's really, really beautiful. Wait, do you want to put them up? Enchanté. It is with the greatest pleasure that we will now show you which Disney character is most like you. My assistant. Well, they're gonna crop in at the end. That's what they did for me. <laughs> like, it looks far away, then they crop oh. in. Oh no! <laughs> you were too far over. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Yeah, you gotta be in the. Actually, gotta be a little more over. I was. <laughs> oh, no, it hit it. All right. It why would it took the photo? It's even amazing. <laughs> Including this one. Full excitement, often acting fast and thinking later. If at all, you love the outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> good, that's a good, good start. I can pray. I'm okay with that. And if you have to leave, I'm going to draw worse than you. I already know it. Your top left hand side over here. Okay, it's good. Welcome to the Animation Academy. How is everyone doing today? Good. Woo! Yeah, very enthusiastic. I like that. Well, welcome. And going to our Disney character that I was hinting at as you came in. Uh, this character first appeared in 1928 uh, with her boyfriend, Mickey, of course. Uh, we, um, she is actually turning uh, 87 years old this November, so looking very good for her age. Uh, but does anyone know who I'm talking about? I just yelled out. Minnie! Yeah, Minnie Mouse. I heard it. So we are drawing her in a retro style today, so we're drawing her back uh, when she was in the cartoon Steamboat Willie. Has anyone seen that cartoon? Very, okay, awesome. So uh, we're drawing her with those classic eyes, the solid black eyes that she wore, and also with uh, her uh, flower pot hat instead of that really big bow. See that, that artist finishing, finishing his work. So we took the Animation Academy class. I don't, you know, my hair's a little lopsided, but I'm pretty proud of myself. Hi, so I had to come out. This year finished. Hold on. 
Hold it up, Rob. Wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. See you guys. And then, of course, this is Keith's, which is like better than all of ours. Okay. We got it. We got it. We got it. Um, this was really fun. I've always wanted to do this. So I'm glad that I did it. I have no idea what I'm going to do this for the rest of the day, but it's pretty great. Face you're gonna make? No, what? my cut face is gonna cough. <laughs> the entire <laughs> <laughs> Jack. Uh oh. I'm kind of uh -oh. sick. Spoopy. So spoopy. Excited? <laughs> no, he's just cold. It is a little cold in here. No, it's chilly. Not. I think it might be ghosts, because when there's ghosts, there's like pockets of cold air. It's chilly, but I run cold, remember? I like warm hugs. I don't think your camera got that, because it didn't do well with low light. I will. <laughs> Stop. Actually, I can see you just fine. Stop rubbing your camera in. I love my camera. <laughs> just came out of Tower of Terror and it's pretty different from Disney World. I didn't really like the VO but I like that you didn't like know when the drop was going to happen or at least I didn't because I don't have the thing memorized so that was really fun. I like the lights flickering in the thing oh, and now I work here so <laughs> doesn't fit very well. It's like a little kid's one. What did you think? I enjoyed it very, very much. Yeah. Um, I like elements of it, and then there are other parts I didn't like so much. Sure. Like I think that's like everything here. else. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Cones. Cones everywhere. You're doing the bull pork? Cones, yes. We're going to have to take a photo for Steve, send it to him. She so like pulled pork? Oh my gosh. He, yeah, I, <laughs> okay. If, the, if, if you want to get him to want to come to Disneyland, tell him there's a pulled pork. Cone. Chili cone, queso, cone, options, pop cone, lots of cones, ice cream cones, we're getting cones. Quickly video the fact that I got a pulled pork cone, it's a pretzel cone, yeah, it's a pretzel cone, pulled pork and coleslaw. That looked like a chocolate shake. Uh, Same one, what'd you get? I got the um, chili con queso. Con? 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 con. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Rob. Sorry. You've got some Spanish blood oh. in you. We're finding a seat now. Delicious things. Delicious things. Do you think Scott Con has his own chili Con, that he yes. calls chili 100%. con queso? 100%. And if you say that wrong, he gets really mad. Yeah, he goes, no, it's not con queso, it's con queso. They just saw my cough drop in my mouth. <laughs> I'm sick, by the way, guys. Sitting over 
there are one of the, what did you call them? Social clubs. Social clubs. Keith got mad that I called them a gang, but that's what people know them as, and it's not a negative thing if you look at the destination of the gang. Anyway. They took up an entire joint join that social club. Social uh, It was nice knowing you all. <laughs> you know, it takes like months of hanging out with them to join, right? We're gonna get started. Mm. Anyway, this theater. You know, it takes very little time to be my friend in the parks. You just come up to me. Let's just start our own. Let's start our own. <laughs> what are we gonna call it? Because like one of them is called like the Neverlanders. It's like Rob plays friend. in the park. No, 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 no. We had, names. we had names like when that article came out. Oh, Peter's idea is the Silly Symphony Swingers. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much wrong with that. It's not even funny. Uh, anyway. Okay, you let me know and I will fill people in. But this is the theater list. And we're going to watch this and then <laughs> like spend coffee. I think we're going to spend some time at the hotel because we actually finished up a little early. So we'll be, I'll be charging this camera and then I'll be adulting with an adult drink at Trader Sam's. Yes, I'm going adulting. Well, because you're oh, going to Disney, you're gonna it's gonna not love, adult. You're going to love Trader Sam's. You have to get the souvenir cup. It's going to be like $20 in total. Whatever. That's but right. then by doing that, you get to see the effect. The Tomorrowland Transit Authorities. Yes! Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Just came out of Aladdin, uh, and it was fantastic. I cannot even believe what I just saw. It was so good. Um, there were some parts that I just couldn't like wrap my brain around, like the elephant part was amazing. Um, our genie was so funny, I laughed until I cried. He was hysterical. Um, it was really great. I really loved it. What do you think, Rob, being in your favorite movie? Oh my gosh, that was fantastic. Yeah. That was so funny. Um, makes me want to go see it on Broadway. But I'll go with you. Yeah. Where you want to go. Um, yeah, that was... I didn't know what to expect. People have said a lot that it's the best stage, Disney stage show like there is. Um, I was like, okay, you know, yeah, we'll check it out. But man, that feel, just blew me away. I feel like to fit in, I should get a camera and do a selfie like 10 feet behind you. Yeah, we're kind, of, we're kind of in a row right now. I can't keep in front of me. But uh, we're leaving the park. I don't know, what time is it, like 4 o'clock, 4.30? 3.30? Oh, Oswald! Let's see if I can get a shot of him. He looks pretty busy over there. There's Oswald. Um, so yeah, we're going back to the hotel. We're going to take a break, adult it up, get a drink, Trader Sam's. Do you think that for Oswald? Like then... I don't... Maybe. And then we're going to go to, whoop, World of Color. And then Rob and I might pop over to Disneyland. Anyway. Oh, my God. 